Now there's a lot of things that can go wrong on live television, and sometimes hilariously so. But this is not a video about those times. Oh no, it's a video about the times that live television has captured terrifying moments that have sent a chill up our spines. Because when it's live, you know it can't be edited or have any special effects. These things really happened, and that's what's horrifying. These are 20 scariest things caught on live TV. Number 20. The Alien and the President Now, there are plenty of conspiracy theories out there that involve aliens and the President of the United States of America. After all, some believe that the President, and past Presidents for that matter, have been sitting on the truth about Area 51 for decades now, but that's another topic entirely. The live television thing that I'm speaking about right now comes from a speech that former President Barack Obama gave in 2012. Some saw the footage of that event and felt that there was an alien secret service agent amongst the crowd. Surely enough, if you look at the clip in question, you'll see a Secret Service agent watching over the crowd, but because of how everything looks, like his head, his neck, and other features, they seem a bit off. So that when we see him in the profile stance, like in the clip, he does look quite alien. Now naturally, alien conspiracy theorists jumped onto the clip and began to say that this is definitive proof that there are aliens among us, and one is apparently working for the president, or former president. But others took another path. They said that the alien in question was trying to hide and that the camera revealed their true nature. What's more, they said that the alien was subtly affecting Obama through telepathy. Why they would say that is unclear, but you know, why not at this point? If not obvious, this is not an alien. While others would cry afoul, others are crying lighting. If you put a person with certain features in a darkly lit area, or even in a brightly lit area, their features can become distorted when you look at them on camera. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. There's no denying it, Donald Trump is divisive. There are a lot of people who don't like him, but there are so many people who don't like him that he can't find people to work for him and he has to hire robots? Well, that's certainly one theory. And why? Well, because of this image that was caught on live television. Just look at the red circle. Is it just me, or does that security guard have a robot hand? It certainly looks like it. Does that mean that Donald Trump's security staff is robotic? It's much more common of a theory than you may think, especially given that it was caught on live TV so it couldn't be doctored. Then again, it could just be fake arms because they're holding their weapons under their coats. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. The Close Call When you're a reporter doing a live segment out in the field, there are things that can always go wrong. You can have microphone issues, you can have camera issues, and you can be talking with someone who doesn't cooperate or even want to talk to you at all, and it can be bad but it's up to you to make it through the segment. However, when one of those things that can go wrong features a vehicle almost ending your life as the world watches on, that's another story entirely. This news reporter of SBS TV in Russia gave viewers a fright when a chopper glided perilously close to her as she addressed the camera. She was doing a report on a couple of copters that were going to be used during the 100th anniversary celebration, and she was doing her report as they were beginning to take off and fly away. For one reason or another, one of the chopper pilots felt that it would be a great idea to get really close to her as they flew off. While it's hard to tell exactly how close that they actually were, you can very easily see that it was close enough to whip her hair around, and clearly close enough that the helicopter looked really close when on screen. If she had gotten hit by a single part of that chopper, she would have been decapitated, had a blunt force injury that likely would have killed her, or something else that likely would have been just as vicious. The irony here is that she clearly did not know how much danger that she was actually in, as she kept on reporting despite the near-fatal incident. Another irony is that because the copters were so loud, you couldn't even hear a word she said during the report. Oh well. Maybe next time it will be better and much more safer. 
Number 18. Lion Meat Reporter If you were told that you were going to do a story about animals, you likely would jump at the chance to do it depending on what that animal was. After all, who wouldn't want to get up close and personal with a cute and cuddly animal? Like my pet guinea pig Twinkle. She's so adorable and loving and the most amazing companion that a guy who talks on the internet for a living could have. And you may also have the chance to be around one that you likely wouldn't get to see every day. It may be the experience of a lifetime, or for like this guy, it might be the thing that almost ends your life. Telegraph journalist Charlie Starmer Smith would be sent down to South Africa to get a segment with a lion. That lion was caged and had worked with humans for a while, so he likely was told that it was very safe. Him and the lion's handler then went into the cage, and at first everything was fine. But then things were not so fine. The lion began to act out. It would attack the journalist and then the handler. The handler seemed to get the lion under control at one point, but then the lion just kept on lashing out, which included digging its claws into multiple parts of the reporter's body. Eventually, the handler was able to restrain the lion enough so that Charlie could escape, and when he did, he had plenty of war wounds to show just how much the lion had hurt him and that it was not a trick of the camera. So, was it smart to send them into that cage? Well, obviously not, but there's another level to this. People think that often, caged lions or other wild animals are fine because they've been trained. However, that does not mean that they've been tamed. That's a key difference. If one of their animalistic urges comes forth, well, you'll get a nearly mauled reporter. Number 17. Who's playing chicken now? Well, here's another story of an animal going wild and attacking a reporter, where this time we're talking about an animal that you may not expect such actions from. You know, like a chicken? In this case, a reporter from Australia is asked to handle a rather large cockerel that is going to be part of a bird show that's coming up. At first, everything is going swimmingly. The reporter is getting out the information, the cockerel is sitting calmly in the reporter's hands, and everything is correct in the news world. But then, and out of nowhere, the chicken gets all riled up and begins flapping its wings. And this is where, well, I'm not really sure how to explain what happens next. You see, the moment that the bird starts flapping its wings, the reporter loses his mind. He screams as though the bird is from an Alfred Hitchcock film, and then drops the bird and careens down the hallway screaming at the top of his lungs. Now, I really don't know how to describe this, and if I were to make a guess, I would say that he was overblowing the situation and doing something for laughs. But that first scream did seem real, and his running down the hallway definitely was not something that was planned for live television, or at least not planned as far as we know. If you're worried about the bird, well, it was controlled by its trainer after the reporter ran away, and if that was a real panicked moment, he likely got ribbed on quite a bit by his friends and co-workers. Because that clip is definitely a viral moment that's been caught on live television. And if that reporter ever sees that chicken again, he'll probably give it the bird. Number 16. Pelicans Now, here's a third animal video for you in a row. You should feel special to see all of this madness with animals happening when the camera's rolling. Steve the Weatherman, as he is known, was at Sydney's Taronga Zoo filming a segment for Channel 9's Today Show back in 2010 when he would be greeted by someone who apparently did not like his presence on the site. Mainly, there was a pelican nearby with its trainer, and that pelican didn't seem to mind biting Steve Jacobs while he was attempting to do his report. At first, it was just a simple nip that would make him realize that he might be in danger. But then he kept on going on with the report, and they even cut away to a screen that showed the weather forecast for the area. However, as they did that, Steve began to scream even more, and when the camera returned, the pelican in question had cornered him in an area and continually pecked at his back and butt. Why did it feel the need to do this? we may well never know. Steve, as it was happening, was doing a mixture of laughing and screaming, and even said at the end that he's going to be mentally scarred because of it. <laughs> 
Now, I honestly don't doubt that because from his side of things, this was not a laughing matter, or at least not in full. You could tell that the people back at the studio were having fun with his plight as they said, you know you love it, as the bird continued to peck at him. Even birds like pelicans can be mean when you give them the chance to be, so don't give them that chance, and your backside will thank you later. Number 15. Accosted During the Aftermath we can all admit that there are some crazy people out there in the world. They'll do anything that they feel is right because it's right in their minds. And that also includes interrupting a news broadcast on MSNBC. In this case, a reporter was in Mississippi doing some delivering of a report in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. But as he was doing his report, something, or should I say someone, decided to make an appearance. For whatever reason, a man in a truck, who happened to be going by that area that was being filmed, parked nearby and then ran up to the reporter and began to yell at him and the crew. But why was he doing that? Nobody honestly knows, and that arguably makes it even more scary. The reporter, Shaquille Brewster, was the pinnacle of professionalism and just went on with the report able to deliver it in a professional manner and continue until the man got right in his face and then he had to end the segment early. And by the reaction of the lead reporter back in the studio, you could tell that they were shocked by the event and as to what was going on on. After things had calmed down, the man was able to report that Brewster was fine and the situation had been resolved. But this is the kind of thing that even Shaquille was able to say that they have to deal with at times. Some people just can't help but get into other people's faces for one reason or another, or to try to steal the spotlight during a live event. Thankfully, nobody would be hurt and the reporter was able to do his job later on. But hopefully now, you see how suddenly dangerous a reporting job can be. Number 14. Politicians from Georgia To be clear, when I say politicians from Georgia, I don't mean the state of Georgia in the United States, I mean the country. That's an important distinction for a lot of reasons. Because in politics, especially during an election campaign, it is the mission of certain politicians to get under the skin of their rivals so that they can get them off guard and do something in the open to cause scrutiny. But the one thing that you can never do in certain countries when it comes to politics is throw hands at your rivals. Because if you do, it's an instant red flag and you can lose everything. But in the country of Georgia, they don't seem to mind if people come to blows. In this debate, the Union of Industrialists candidate poured a glass of water over his opponent and the two then began pushing and kicking each other as the moderator tried to keep them apart. But sadly, she couldn't do that and the two simply went back and forth across the area fighting each other in various ways. It should also be noted that this was the second time that these two had thrown hands at each other in such a debate within a week. So yes, clearly the two did not like each other, and what's more, I feel bad for the moderator because she clearly didn't ask for it and couldn't keep control. Number 13. Pinky the Cat do you ever try to do something nice for someone and then they turn around and be a complete jerk to you about it? And by that, I mean that you're doing a genuinely nice thing for someone and they try to hurt you? Well, for one animal control officer, he felt the wrath of a cat even though he was simply trying to get it adopted. In the 1990s, videos would surface at certain shelters to try and get certain pets adopted. In this case, it was Pinky the cat. The officer held the cat in his arms and described him to the camera and everything was fine. That was until Pinky lost his mind. What's more, he went nuts right after the officer said he's a very loving cat and apparently it wasn't true because Pinky did everything that he could to get out of the bonds that kept it closer to the officer. And even the guy was like, we have a wild cat. Now, that wouldn't be scary per se outside of the visual of the possessed cat. But when the officer tried to help to contain it, the cat went up its leg and bit him in the groin. The scream that the guy makes proves just how painful that bite must have been. Also notice that he's wearing jeans, so that cat's bite was able to get through that and make a trained officer like him scream in pain. The video would eventually go viral on the internet and be used on everything from YouTube award shows to America's Funniest Home Videos. Whether the cat was eventually adopted is not clear, but I'm sure that some people would have reservations about that due to the wild nature of Pinky. Then again, some people might be into that kind of thing, and I'm not here to shame anyone. Number 12. The Vanishing Lady 
Whether it be on live television or a scripted event, the one thing you have to remember is that things can happen that may seem impossible but are just tricks of the trade. Between video editing, green screens, and other technology that's available, you can make something seem real, even on live television, and yet it can still be fake. So in this video, we definitely need to have our skeptic hats on, even if we can't fully explain what's happening. In the clip, which is not that long, so we'll play it multiple times, over and over and over for you, a news interview is going on in an area and an elderly woman is walking in the background. But as you can see, or perhaps don't see, the woman slowly fades from view, as if she had simply crossed over from one dimension to another. She's there, and then she's not. Now after calming down and thinking it through, if you look at the beginning of the clip, you're going to notice that the woman immediately has some see-through elements to her, and those grow as she continues to go. That might mean that this shot had multiple layers to it, likely a shot of the background before the interview, layered onto the interview itself, and that made the one layer with the lady clash with the other, and thus the disappearing effect happened when she went out of the range of her layer. Now I can't confirm this, but I'm pretty sure the news story would have been a lot more important if the lady had literally vanished while on camera. Number 11. The Haunted Doll Sometimes, whether it be in reporting or something else you do, you're going to be asked to do things that make you uncomfortable. For these two hosts of a show, they had to do a segment where they talked with a man who claimed that he had a haunted doll and that the doll itself had been brought onto the show to showcase the terror that it can impart on people. According to the owner, the doll was still attached to the spirits of its original owners and had to be contained so that it could not hurt anyone. The host had various reactions to the doll, which included when the doll allegedly began to cry. One of the hosts even silenced the other when it mocked the doll for not being able to get out of its containment. While viewers were not impressed with the segment, there are plenty of stories of dolls that have had minds of their own and have attacked people in the past. Multiple horror films have been based on those tales, so hopefully that doll doesn't seek revenge against those two. Number 10. Car Crash and the Reporter now here's a legitimately scary moment that even I jumped at when I watched the clip first. A reporter was doing your standard news segment in front of a store near a street. When everything went wrong in a flash, they heard the sound of cars colliding and were able to just get out of the way of an oncoming car right as it swept past them on its way to hitting another car. Now, if you look at the footage, they were inches away from disaster, and it was a good thing that the reporter reacted to the sound instead of continuing the report. Or else he and the cameraman may well have been seriously injured or killed. Thankfully for all involved, including the two drivers in the incident, everyone ended up being okay. But that's how fast things can go wrong in a news report, so you always have to be vigilant. Number 9. What was that? Picture this. You just got done doing a great show and you're about to end it with your standard closing shot. A nice view of your city with the night sky in full bloom. And that's what this news team was trying to do. And then when they looked at the said night sky, they saw something moving. What's more, they saw a lot of things moving. And they were so stunned that they couldn't even finish the program as planned. They began staring and gawking at it and said that they would dig into it. And you can even hear them ask others in the studio what it was. Allegedly, the answer was seagulls, but that wouldn't make sense for a lot of reasons. And so, this unique and yet very scary sight and event still remains a mystery to this day. Number 8. Earthquake Arguably one of the scariest things that can happen to a news reporter while live on the air is a natural disaster. The biggest one that surprisingly has happened to multiple news anchors is getting caught on air during an earthquake. As you may expect, there were quite interesting reactions by the various teams of studio anchors when this happened, including trying to see if they really were in an earthquake situation, the fear of actualization, and the actions on what to do next. The correct course of action that both teams were able to do is to get under the desk and simply wait it out. But if you're not prepared for the situation, you can sometimes be frozen in place and stuck in a state simply wondering what to do, which occurred with the first team. So if you're in such a scenario, declare that you're in an earthquake and get under the desk. Number 7. Another Haunted Doll 
When you see a doll on sale that you think is cute or may remind you of your past, you don't expect to be host to a demented being that might try to ruin your life. But for one woman named Debbie, that's exactly what happened after buying a set of three dolls, and one of them was apparently alive. From mysterious scratches on her husband's leg to the fire alarm sporadically bellowing out through the house, the doll was seemingly the cause of everything going on. When they went onto a news station to talk about it, eagle-eyed viewers would notice something. The doll was in a rocking chair, and that rocking chair moved without anyone touching it. Was this merely caused by a gust of wind at the station, or was the doll making its presence felt? Number 6. Lightning Striking Again as already stated, there are few things that are more scary than being caught in a situation where a natural disaster can hit you while live on the air. Many reporters are oftentimes forced to do reports in the rain and during heavy thunderstorms, and for this reporter, he found out the cost of doing that in the worst of ways because he would almost be struck by lightning. As you can see in the clip, the lightning bolt in question is at best about 20 feet away from him, close enough to make one heck of a cracking noise and to light up the screen. Thankfully, the man was not hit by the lightning bolt, but that's more down to luck than anything else. And we know that people can be struck by lightning at the most random of times. Number 5. Did That Just Move? Let's show you another haunted event, as I'm sure that you haven't had enough of them yet. A man on a Honduran news program was just doing his job when the glass that was in front of him began to move. And not just move a little, it actually moved several inches. You can see the shock on his face while it's happening, and then looks to his co-worker for confirmation that he saw it as well. Apparently after this event took place, the man said that he felt a chill down his spine right before the glass moved. That glass was seen by many people who watched the program, and many weighed in to talk about what they thought had occurred. So was there a presence that moved the glass? Well, nobody can say, but you can't say that that's not what happened either. Number 4. The Max Headroom Incident the Max Headroom broadcast signal intrusion was a television signal hijacking that occurred in Chicago, Illinois on the evening of November the 22nd in 1987. The signal pirates, whose identities were never found, succeeded in hacking a signal on WTTW. The clip itself was hard to understand, and it's not actually clear what the intent of the message was, but the fact that these signal pirates took over a station and were able to insert a broadcast for any amount of time is impressive. Impressive. Plus, they never got caught, so they were clearly clever enough to cover their tracks. This is easily one of the scariest things that could happen on live television, because if you were to hack a signal, you can play anything that you want. Thankfully, this time it was just some nonsense, but next time, people may not be so lucky. Number 3. Ghostly Goalie Save Eric Bailey's bizarre penalty miss against Egypt dumped Ivory Coast out of the Africa Cup of Nations in 2022. But if you were to look at the footage of the goal and the block, you'll notice something quite strange. You'll notice that the goal was seemingly blocked by a ghost. You can see a figure appear right when the goal was being deflected, and that isn't something that's supposed to happen. But is that what really happened? Probably not. Not the least of which is that it was a ghostly save and more people would be talking about it. But rather, it just looks like the footage of another block that was placed beneath this footage and thus makes it seem as though a ghost is actually there. Number 2. Drunken Boxing Remember the other entry with the reporter who is being accosted by a person for no real reason? Well, here's an extreme version of that. Over in Russia, a reporter would be detailing a military celebration day that was taking place when a drunken man randomly walks into the shot and starts cursing at him. That would be annoying, but not so scary. However, then the reporter asked him to stop, and the man straight up punches the reporter in the face. First of all, ouch. Second of all, really? That's why you don't deal with drunk people, because you never really know what they're going to do until they actually do it. Thankfully, that one punch was all that was thrown, and the police then came in to arrest the man later. And for the record, the man was a known troublemaker. Number 1. Another Vanishing Woman 
This event took place at an airport where a man was being interviewed, and in the background, on the left, were two ladies. One was standing still, and the other was moving away. As the walking woman moved ahead of the standing one, the latter appears to disappear without a trace. If you watch it a few times, you may think that she did indeed disappear, but I honestly have an explanation for this one as well. If you watch the two ladies, they're talking to each other, and as the first lady pushes ahead, you can see the standing lady turning towards her right before she vanishes. That seems to imply that she moved so perfectly into the silhouette of the other woman that she was shielded from the view by her, and thus she simply vanished. And that's all from the realm of live television and the very scary moments that could occur before the cameras. Which of these moments do you agree were scary as you watched them? And do you think that some of these people are lucky to have gotten through the scenario they were in? Perhaps there's another clip that would fit perfectly into this video. Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out all of the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.